For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to Epcot, where we are basically coming to check out a few updates. Primarily, though, what is going on with Test Track 3.0. I really wanted to come out and see it for myself. I did get a quick glimpse of it when I was here a few weeks ago. Of course, not uh, for any sort of vlog or video. But we were here to see what's going on with it. But what I really wanted to come out and see before Halloween Horror Nights kicks off next week, be that is just in seven days. We're testing out some new camera equipment. I got the Sony ZV-1 Mark II here, which I just uh, just came in um, only a few days ago, but I definitely wanted to check it out here at Disney before heading into full gear for Horror Nights next week. Um, so let's head right on into the park, check out what kind of new settings, bear with me. Um, I got the uh, a little microphone on top as I hope to improve my videos and my craft moving forward. But let's head on into the park, guys, and go check out these updates. They got the nighttime show Luminous here on the park maps. It's an all right show. I still prefer Harmonious though, personally. Now I've been called out before for basically not covering enough of Disney, which is fair. Uh, just so much has been happening over at Universal that I've just had to catch up on. And as someone who works a full-time job, it's been very difficult for me to find time to go back and forth, jump back and forth between both parks. With D23, the recent D23 news, so much happening at Disney. So believe me when I say there will be a ton of more Disney content coming to the channel very soon. Uh, it just might not all come out at once. It'll be, you know, spread out over the coming weeks. So bear with me, a lot to come. Until then, let's head on over to World Discovery and go check out the updates over there. First things first, however, let's head on over to Guardians of the Galaxy because it's time for our virtual queue. You will discover more of them as you continue your visit here in the wonders of Zandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. Now with Cosmic Rewind done, let's head on over to Test Track to catch up on some of those updates. Now what's cool is that the Test Track post show has kind of moved its way outside. You got some new cars out here, you got the new Corvette, some cast members answering all sorts of questions. Uh, definitely great and it's drawing some eyes I've noticed as it, get, it, as it builds hype to this newer version of the attraction. So that was a smart move and definitely, you know, might get you to buy one of their new cars, who knows. Now that we basically came and did everything that we wanted to do inside of the park as far as test track goes, let's take a look now from the sky. Let's hop on the monorail 
basically that will take us back to the transportation and ticket center and then stay on it for one returning trip back here to Epcot. Well, that's going to do it for a fairly quick day at Epcot. A fun afternoon. Got to see some new updates from around Test Track. They're basically still in the process of demolishing, or not really demolishing, but kind of reimagining the old ride to the new ride. Uh, very excited. I never got to do the old World of Motion attraction, which the new ride is supposedly going to be based on. But I am a huge fan of Test Track 1.0, the original version. I was never a huge fan of the current version, or at least the 2.0 version, so I'm glad they are trying their best to kind of get back to the roots with that ride. Aside from test track and the updates, I did test out the new camera, the ZV-1 Mark II. Now I'd be lying if I told you that there weren't times today where I wanted to take the camera and chuck it across the room. I was basically... Uh, struggling with some of the settings of course this is all new to me i've never had a camera um with this many you know little gizmos i've been using the g7x mark ii for the past like three years so uh this was definitely an upgrade the camera body is about the same size but now we have an external mic on top which should definitely help with the sound quality and even after playing with the settings once they got back home, I don't even know if the lighting is correct. I'm definitely going to play around with it some more once I, um, you know, get to the editing of this video. The camera itself, pretty cool, pretty uh, cool upgrade. Uh, the battery life though, like, 2 out of 10. <laughs> Yeah, the reason I'm only the only reason I'm doing this like uh, outro type thing in my bedroom is because the camera died halfway through my day. That that is um, the only reason I'm doing this here. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have done the outro at the park. I, I hate doing like bedroom vlogs or house vlogs. I, I'm not a fan of them, uh, at least for my own personal taking. So that's the only reason I'm doing it like this. So please bear with me. Uh, my fault for not, you know, getting a spare battery in time for this video, but, you know. Anyway, <laughs> enough rambling, guys. Hope you enjoyed um, this rather different type of video, just, you know, testing out the camera while also looking at some construction updates. Uh, that's going to do it from today here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and like the video for more if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.